Welcome, welcome. Uh, this is Monty once again from DPS Advanced Equipment. Uh, welcome. Uh, this is Monty once again from DPS Surveillance Equipment. Um, we're a full service surveillance and security equipment company. We have lifetime guarantees and warranties in all the products. Um, we have the uh, largest video library, uh, bar nine. And we have um, 24 7, 365 tech sales and customer support. Thank you, thank you. And um, also, we have a humongous number of articles between the video library uh, here at DPO Surveillance Equipment and, uh, and, the, and the articles directory. You're going to get a lot of very good information. We're going to be talking about and demonstrating between the video library and the articles that we publish every day. Between those two sources of uh, information, you're going to learn about everything imaginable. In the, in the video library, you're going to demonstrate your bug detectors, your nanny cameras, your um, uh, audio listening devices. We're going to be demonstrating um, digital video recorders and worst recorders, GPS trackers, etc., etc. You name it, we're going to be demonstrating those items for you. And then when we move over to the articles, when you get a chance and you have some time, read the articles. We're publishing a lot of good information. Um, one of the la latest articles, for instance, talked about um, neuroscientists and such hacking the brain. Okay, they're figuring out how about how, you know what the brain can do and as far as um, how it works and what they're finding out with the MR, MRI. Uh, scanning technologies, they're able to um, decipher and decode what's going on in the brain. And I think it's quite interesting. For those of you suffering from electronic harassment, for those of you who are targeted individuals, I think you're going to be very, very intrigued by what's happening in that area of research. And then um, also, that's my cat, Lazy Bones. <laughs> <laughs> when I get up in the mornings, and if I don't pay attention to him and feed him every 20 minutes, <laughs> then he reminds me. So um, I have to take care of that. But yeah, that's in the video library. That's in the articles directory. Between the articles directory and the video library, you're going to find a lot of good educational information. We're one of the few spy companies or companies overall, online or offline, that put so much em emphasis on education, okay? I think I spend more time doing research and exploring different topics just so people can have knowledge, you know. Nothing wrong with having more knowledge as compared to less knowledge. And uh, also we have um, some creative financing programs uh, by way of the, the rental and the, the rental program and the layaway program. Between those two programs, you guys can dictate how much you're going to pay in the layaway program, for instance, how much you're going to pay, how many months, uh, when you're going to actually take possession. With the, with, the lay -up pre with the layaway program, if you want to finance something that costs like three, four, five hundred dollars $500, you want to pay it off in a few weeks, a few months, just tell us how many installments or what the minimum amount is, like $100 per week or per month, and then what's included with that final installment will be the shipping. And then once we ship that product out to you, once we get that final amount paid by you, we ship the product out to you according to your shipping instructions. But the layaway program is very, very flexible. You get the opportunity to tell us, um, uh, I'm sorry, you get the opportunity to choose your state-of-the-art bug detector, GPS tracker, whatever it is. And if you want to just rent it for a week or two weeks or something, that's fine. Then you send it back with us. We don't count transit time, by the way, when we send it to you. Um, and, and the, but the very good thing is uh, if you want to if you want to own it if you want to change that rental to a, a purchase just call us or shoot us an email and we'll be glad to change that rental into a purchase for you. So it's like a rent to own program basically or try before you buy type of program. Um, excuse me, I'm going to make a little bit of noise every once in a while. I've got 900 tasks that I do in the mornings. <laughs> Oh, yeah, but that's the rental program and the layaway program. And then we also put a lot of emphasis on the, our anti-terrorist related products. The um, x-ray baggage scanners 
or, or a requirement in this un, in, in times of uncertainty when you have um, various terrorist related events going on around the planet we can't stress enough what it what it means to protect life and limb and and, and infrastructure from terrorists uh, who are trying to harm people okay and 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 they're trying to make a statement so uh, take a look at the um Explosive detectors, take a look at the narcotics detectors, take a look at the x-ray baggage scanners, and send us um, an email. Let us know what your requirements are, if you had a bid, if it's a bid situation, or otherwise known as a tender. Uh, get, in, get in touch with us immediately. We'll see if we can meet your requirements for your tender. Uh, right now, we're working on various tenders. At any given time, we're working on tenders from... The Middle East, Africa, Asian countries, at any given time, we're always working on tenders from you guys. So we're going to expand that program so that we become more and more um, active as far as helping you guys uh, get access to the state-of-the-art anti-terrorist products, okay? Now, uh, give us a call, 888-344-3742. That's 888-344-3742. Now, this particular session has to do with um, uh, a, a certain technology that we all take for granted and combined with a certain thing that we all do all the time, uh, online and offline for that matter, okay? Now, when, you, when you're shopping online, okay, the, you know, just a reminder... The topic is security expert, which is me, security expert advises caution in the adoption of voice-enabled websites, okay? So when it comes to voice-enabled websites, um, we have a certain dilemma, okay? Um, because we, we want to do it properly, right? We don't want to expose everyone to um, you know what we're trying to do, and we don't want to take for granted how complex and sophisticated and complicated it is, but it's very easy, okay, to want to, you know, just go to a website and, you know, it would be, it would be fine if we could just tell the website what to do, tell the shopping cart who we are, you know, and have, and have all this done automatically, right, in the background. But, you know, it would be very easy if that were possible, but it's not really practical at this point, so we're going to delve into the future of online shopping and offline shopping for that matter, okay? So let's read this article, okay, uh, by Joe Keenan. Joe Keenan, okay, uh, he wrote this article, and, and I'm going to convey it to you. Um, let's see how we want to start off here. Clear your throat, put down your mouse, take your fingers off the touch screen. Retail is primed to be the next industry to use the spoken word as the interface between consumers and technology. Driving this innovation in large part is the prevalence of smartphones today and in turn the growth of mobile commerce. Rather than having users' mobile shopping experiences consist of trying to navigate a series of links and pages on a condensed smartphone screen before eventually giving up in frustration. Retailers envision a future where users will simply be able to say what it is that they want into their phone. Sounds a whole lot easier, right? Um, no, this isn't how retailers get shoppers to smile for a photo. It's a nod to what could be the next big thing in the e-commerce industry. Voice-enabled websites. Okay, so moving right along. Um, this isn't the first time retailers have dabbled with voice recognition systems, however. They've long, they, they've long used such programs for, customers, for customer service, but now they're, be, they're, now they're beginning to examine the viability of the technology on the front end, uh, on the front end of the buying process. Take eBay, for example. Its Android app has voice-enabled voice search capability, allowing users to simply say what they're looking for rather than type it in on a, smart, a cumbersome mobile pad. Granted, they can't yet purchase that item by speaking into their phone, but the day appears. To, but that day appears to be coming. So, just to uh, editorial 
editorialize a little bit. We're not there at all. I mean, we're not we're not to the point right now where you can just go to any website of your choice, go into the shopping cart area of that website, and start speaking into some voice-enabled system that's going to recognize who you are, somehow accept your preferred method of payment, and start executing that uh, that transaction for you. Just want to throw that in there, okay? So moving right along, um, companies like Vlingo, that's V as in Victor, L-I-N-G-O, uh, Vlingo, which can voice enable any mobile app, and Nuance, uh, that's another company, N-U-A-N-C-E, a provider of voice and language solutions, are leading the way when it comes to voice technology. Uh, Samago, S-Y-M-A-G-O, Samago, an IT company that specializes in inter interactive voice response systems, known, otherwise known as IVR systems, has developed technology technology that lets consumers call into a voice-enabled website that integrates voice XML, uh, otherwise known as VXML, in this case, with an IVR system. This VXML standard allows the human voice to access websites built with this technology on VXML-incorporated sites. Consumers can perform typical web browsing functions such as perusing content and navigating through links and pages entirely over the phone. So, uh, just to come, come back uh, to the point here, you have to, a lot of work has to be done on the back end with, with a, a good developer who knows what they're doing so you can voice and nail that website so that you're navigating not only through the shopping cart but from page to page and, and using nothing but your voice, okay? Voice recognition software works by sending speech to processors that break down spoken words into sound waves. Algorithms are then used to identify the most likely, um, the most likely words formed by the sounds. A, syst a system typically records and stores speech so it can teach itself to become more accurate over time. So again, the um, these systems, IVR systems, whether it's from Google or Amazon, whoever it is, they typically get better. In other words, the more you talk into them, the more you interact with them, the more the AI or artificial intelligence systems recognizes the various nuances in your voice, uh, inflection, and, uh, tone, intonation, whatever it is, that that is accomplished. Usually, the, the more you interact with it, okay, the, the more you inter interact with these systems, the more it recognizes the differences in the way we speak. Uh, the tone, volume, pace, different dialects, all that. So that that's that's just a point I wanted to bring up. Now let's keep going. There are concerns surrounding voice enabled websites. Privacy invasions chief amongst them. Privacy advocates suggest that voice technology adds an, an audio component to the digital trail of information that consumers leave behind when they visit a website or app potentially exposing them to more data mining. The privacy concerns are strong enough that the Federal Trade Commission is monitoring the situation. Okay, so this is where uh, my area of expertise comes in, and I'll just let you know. Uh, from my perspective, you do have a major security issue when you're interacting with any system where there is a microphone on, and you open up your app, or you open up your laptop or something, uh, iPad, whatever it is, notepad, and this microphone, which is associated with this website, for instance, is actively listening all the time to try and figure out whether or not you are ready to go to a website and do some shopping, um, looking at whatever it is, <laughs> whatever it is you do from website to website. So that, that simply means that, yeah, you do have a voice, uh, you do have a microphone on, and it's going to be actively listening, and the, again, the security caught the security for the security aspect. That's a major, major issue that needs to be dealt with because, as we learned, as we learned in the past, whenever you have cameras that cut on, microphones that are automatically cut on or whatever, they hear what you're saying. They hear what's going on in the background. Uh, is that company going to be responsible? Who is going to be liable if there is a uh, some sort of uh, abuse of the technology? Okay, uh, what about law enforcement? Are they going to be notified if there's an issue going on? Some person is sounds like they're being 
violated or, or there's child abuse or whatever the situation is, what what happens when when the microphones and and audio needs to be subpoenaed from whatever company? Okay, so that's a, that's a from a security perspective, uh, that definitely needs to be addressed. Thank you. So let's keep going here. Um, in addition to privacy, the other issue that needs to be addressed before voice-enabled commerce becomes a legitimate option for retailers and consumers is how payments will be handled. A consumer browsing their phone while waiting at an airport gate is, is, uh, isn't going to be willing to say their credit card number aloud to make a purchase. The solution may involve having payment information on file with retailers or using a virtual wallet, wallet like Google Wallet. Again, um, let me caution you guys that um, my expertise in this area really uh, needs to be taken into consideration mainly because when you mention credit card information allowed, when you mention personally identifiable information allowed uh, out loud, when you're you know going from site to site doing your shopping or whatever it is that you're doing, yeah, we do need to consider the security implications because you could be giving your valuable credit card information to who knows who's standing near you or whatever the, whatever the information that you're speaking out loud um, so that the website can hear you okay so let's keep going here the potential of voice enabled commerce is intriguing to me there are scenarios i can envision where being able to talk to you talk your way through a shopping experience would be ideal example when driving use, usage by those who are visually impaired but is it practical enough for widespread adoption by retailers I guess the answer to that question, as with most every question, comes down to cost. Is there enough demand for this technology to justify the expense for retailers? My guess is no, at least for now. My hesitation comes from the continued growth of mobile commerce and what that means for retailers. In the end, consumers' voices will be heard one way or the other. (laughs) So, yeah, this basically... (laughs) talks about the idea that we're not going to get away from the idea that in the very near future, uh, we don't need to use our hands as much. We don't need to preoccupy ourselves with pretty much anything except getting uh, from from website to website. And um, the the voice is an ideal tool uh, going forward so that we can Make sure that we pull up that inform, you know, we get access to those websites and and uh, take care of that shopping. Okay, that's that's going to be very critical going forward. And the more we can use technology like voice-enabled websites, for instance, to enhance that shopping experience, I think this the, the the sooner the better. But we need to, like anything else, we need to look at the security implications of it. Okay, um, who's going to collect the data? You know, uh, and and, who, and how is that going to be handled? Who, make it, you know, how can we get some reassurances that that it can be handled responsibly? <laughs> so, um, you website developers out there and designers, this is your opportunity to learn something that's going to differentiate you from the competition. The more that you're able to embrace this technology and get a handle on it, and maybe get a portfolio of websites where, you know, someone could actually uh, use their voice to go from page to page and go into the shopping carts and have some sort of system, uh, e-commerce system, recognize who I am, accept my payment information without me, you know, ho- hopefully blurting it out in public so everyone can hear and, and process that credit card transaction, whatever, and, and, and get through the shopping cart and um, all with my voice, all, all without using my hands. You're going to really, really do well, okay? So this is, in my opinion, this is the future of e-commerce and shopping combined with voice-enabled uh, IVR type of technology. And uh, there you go. So hope you guys enjoyed the article and the podcast. And if you have any need for the bug detectors, x-ray baggage scanners, uh, GPS trackers, audio listening devices and bugs and such, uh, give us a call, 888-344-3742. That's 888-344-3742.
remember we're up at 24-7, 365, and we have lifetime guarantees on all the products. Um, and as we like to say at the end of every podcast, share this with a friend, relative, enemy, associate. We don't care who you share it with. Just share it with someone, and let's see if we can help make the world a better place. <laughs> yeah, they're laughing because I said share it with an enemy. <laughs> I said, share it with an enemy. Actually, I did. (laughs) We don't care who you share it with. Share it with anyone, okay? (laughs) Take care. Bye.